This house was built in 1880, 1880-something, uh, early 1880s. It smelled, it was a real wreck, okay, which is why I bought it. I didn't know at the time that it would turn into a passive house. I discovered passive house in 2014, 2015. I realized that it provided, for me as a businessman, an edge in the marketplace relative to other builders coming out of the credit crisis. And it also addressed global warming in a significant way. There's high performance houses, you know, there's, there's any, any number of flavors out there. But there's one and only one Passive House Institute certified building standard. Once it became clear that we had a reasonable prospect of achieving Passive House Institute certification. Then the mission, the mission was achieve Passive House certification. So Ellis Passive House was actually on the tour in 2017. That's how we ran across this project. What Mike's goal in renovating this home and making an Enterfit Passive House renovated home, that the load was very low. So he was building a very tight structure renovating this to a very high standard, and the Mitsubishi equipment is able to provide the appropriate amount of heating and cooling for a home that is not necessarily one wide open floor plan. So there are a lot of closed off different rooms in this house, and this is a seven zone system, so we're actually able to provide precise temperature control in seven different zones in this house. The house is also all electric, and it is solar ready, so us Mitsubishi equipment being an all-electric air source heat pump, we incorporate our equipment perfectly into an all-electric application. A few space heaters would, are enough to heat this house, but we chose Mitsubishi. They're the best out there, the best service, the best technical data to support the claim. If you compare it to the same 3,500 square foot Greystone row house, a block that way, between its heating and cooling, between its natural gas consumption and its electrical consumption, required 142,000 kilowatt hours of energy per year. And that translates into 205,000 pounds of carbon per year. This house, all uses, heating, cooling, plug loads, cooking, hot water, washer, dryer, Budgets out at 9,000 kilowatt hours per year. So we went from 142,000 kilowatt hours per year, that's the old way, to 9,000 kilowatt hours per year. When we get the photovoltaics up on the roof, we'll be a net zero house, we'll be an E plus house producing more energy on site than we consume, and we'll have enough energy to produce all the comfort that the occupants will need, plus the energy for two cars. So the equipment in this home is a Mitsubishi multi-zone hyperheat. So it's an air source heat pump, a cold climate air source heat pump, meaning that we are the sole source of heating in this house. In a colder climate like Chicago, there is a preconceived notion that you, an air source heat pump doesn't work here. Well, in, in essence, regular air source heat pumps do not, but a Mitsubishi hyperheat system can be the sole source of heating in this climate. It is then connected to seven different indoor wall mount units. There's one in each different zone in the house. So they have precise temperature control in every space in this home. We have continuous balanced mechanical ventilation in this house. And that air is filtered to MERV 13, which is uh, operating room standard. It's great for people with allergies. And you know what Mitsubishi does is, en is enhance that further. A Passive House Institute certified building, which this is now, is known to reduce energy demand in a building by 90%. That's a, a common expectation. And we've achieved that uh, in, this, in this project. 